It is Earth Week, and there is no better time to look into the future of Pittsburgh's evolution into a bicycle, bicycling community than now. And new this morning, John Shumway is here with a look at what's on the horizon. And there's a lot out there, Heather. A lot more bike lanes designed to make bicycling safer and commutable throughout the town. Now, right now, we've got about 73 miles of bike lanes and bike paths. The city wants to get that to 250 miles in about 10 years. So when you look at our map today, um, you can see that our, our bike connections start and stop very abruptly. Mm -hmm. And so to really use this to complete that journey, um, we need to um, complete those connections. That is the immediate focus. But there are also the big plans like bike lanes and the fifth Forbes corridor from Oakland to downtown over the next two years. So that will include um, essentially converting what is the existing bus only lane on Fifth Avenue um, and making that a bi-directional cycle track um, to provide for safe uh, bicycle connections there. And then Forbes through Uptown includes some uh, bicycling improvements um, there on the Forbes Avenue side. The expansion will include all compass points and communities. It does reach into um, our communities of color and into our, our lower income communities. And the bike lane future has already arrived at Penn and Stanwyck Street, where you will notice a bike lane traffic signal. We wanted to make sure that everyone had clear um, direction as to when it was their uh, time to move in that intersection. And so the bike signal um, really just provides that clarity. Yeah, and we should point out that that bike signal is on and operating as we speak. And Heather, the plan is so massive that I've put a link in my web story to the map where you can actually go in and zoom in on your area of town to see what they plan as far as bike lanes in your neck of the woods. It's a big increase from where they are now to where they want to be. Um, John, with so many people working from home, has the pandemic reduced the need for bike lanes? I know there's been a big shift. Actually, no. Rick says that the commuting is coming back, and she's very concerned because car sales are up and transit riding is down. If that trend continues, we're going to see a lot more congestion on the roads than we had before the pandemic, and alternatives like bike lanes are going to be even more important. All right. Thank you so much, John. Sure.